Now that you have your NewTek NTS-1 Digital Kit Mark II, let's assemble it together. Take out all of the parts from the box as you have everything you need to build your new NTS-1 Mark II, including the screwdriver. No soldering is needed. Let's separate the PCB panel. You should now have four pieces. Next, take apart the four corners on the main circuit board. Make sure to save them as they will be used as washers for custom side panels. Next, we will build the side panels and attach them to the back panel. First, remove the film from the side panels. As you see, the side panels are silver on one side and black on the other. Choose whichever color you'd like to be front facing. Now we will attach the sides to the corner pieces with the included screws and screwdriver. One is complete. Now let's do the same thing to the other one. Now that your side panels are done, we can attach them to the rear panel with four screws. This is what the completed back panel should look like. Next, we can connect the main circuit board with the front panel. On the back of the front panel, there are pins to insert the connectors on the circuit board. Make sure they're aligned correctly and press them together like this. Now that we have our front and back panels complete, we can screw them together. Great! Next we'll screw on the front and back side panels to the main unit. Alright, our NTS-1 Mark II is almost complete. The only thing left is to attach the rubberized feet to the circles on the back panel. We have now completed building the NewTek NTS-1 Digital Kit Mark II. Let's power it up with our USB-C connection and make some music.